Abdul Majid Al Sabaki is one of the chronically ill Gazans struggling to breathe as heat waves and ever longer power cuts plague the Palestinian enclave. Temperatures have soared above 104 degrees Fahrenheit in Gaza, leading to power cuts that now last for around 12 hours a day instead of 10, as demand for air conditioning soars. Dr. Mohammed Al Haj at Gaza's Shahuda Al Aqsa Hospital explained what impact it is having on patients who would otherwise manage their conditions at home. The unprecedented rise in temperatures and prolonged power outages have had a negative impact on patients in general, and particularly on respiratory patients. As you know, patients with crisis conditions, pulmonary embolism and pulmonary fibrosis, require high and continuous oxygen levels, as well as regular extensive nebulization of the airways. Power cuts deprive patients of their right to regular oxygen ventilation and regular nebulization sessions, which pushes patients, especially respiratory patients, to keep visiting the hospital. Ishmael Nishwan suffers from pulmonary fibrosis, and in this heat, he cannot always run his ventilator or even a fan in his house. The situation is really tough. I need electricity, I need oxygen and I need a fan. I need someone to help me so I can breathe. I go to the hospital and when I come back home the electricity goes off again. So I go back into the hospital. This is what my life's become. More than 2.3 million people live in a narrow strip of land squeezed between Egypt and Israel. The Islamist group Hamas, which has run the territory since 2007, blames a 16-year-long Israeli blockade, backed up by neighbouring Egypt, for devastating Gaza's economy. Israel says its blockade is necessary to stop arms reaching Hamas.